show them the description as well. So for that, after the ending of this table, we can create a div. So I'm going to say div id description. Okay, and here I'm actually going to echo the description. That would be dollar description. Okay, come back. It will show you. Okay, here it shows. Now we will have to provide this description some styling. So we can go to style.css. ID description should have a padding to 10 pixels with a border of one pixel solid gray okay and then say minimum width to 300 pixels and give it some minimum height as well so minimum height to 300 pixels or we can we will change it later come back refresh it this is something we got and then say margin top to 20 pixels okay refresh it here you got it and one more thing we can do is out here i can say h2 then i can say newsletter description or message or body whatever you want to call it here it says okay don't make it h2 make it h3 okay here we have or can we keep it outside the div out here and then give this h3 some you know id of uh, heading something like this so install CSS. i'm going to say id heading should have margin top to 20 pixels and the font size to 18 pixels guys again this is not a designing tutorial for you guys so don't worry about designs you can do it later i just want to show you guys some functionalities so we can change the minimum width to 250 or you know make it width not minimum width 250 is damn low so 450 that's fine and we can say minimum height to 200 not 300 okay that's looking pretty fine now we can create here two buttons one will say deleted or one will say edited so here we will have two buttons we are okay just after the div i can say div id options there will be two buttons one will say edit and the other error will say delete okay just come back so we got an edit and a delete button or, and for now we can keep it just out here and give this edit one id of edit news letter copy it go back to this page here we're going to create some jquery functions so i'm going to open a script tag inside the script tag we will have to write some jquery to you know do some slide down and some other stuff i think this would be fine now why well, it's not working it was if you and write no dollar if you win no that way it's not working i'm gonna write it by my hand so dollar function and then i have to say dollar edit newsletter dot click function then you know open uh, form for us that we will create right now 
So after this div, I'm going to create one more div. That would be edit form. And we can, you know, create a div class from elements. Out here, there would be a label for, say, news letter name. Then I input type text. Name would be equal to uh, name. Well, it would be nothing. ID would be name. Then we can copy it down from here, paste it here. The next label would be for subject. If they want to change the subject, name would be equal to subject. Copy it paste it here then the same thing again and again so this would be sender's name the s name id would be equal to s name and here would be sender email this will be equal to s email id will be equal to s email and the input type would be email as well so that if you're using html5 it will validate it for you by default so this is something we got and then we can have you know the text area so this would be uh, i can say newsletter description And here will be our text area. So you can see text area. Oops. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what's happening with me? So I'm gonna say text area. That's fine. Text area name would be equal to message. Okay, come back and see what we got. Okay, this is something we got out here. And what else we can do? Here we can give some heading like H3 to edit news letter. Okay. That's fine. Then we will have to provide it some stylings. So first we can look for form elements. This is out here. Then it's div ID and we created class. That's fine. So I'm gonna copy everything down from here. I will paste it out here and I will provide the same stylings to the class. So come back, refresh. Here we got it. One more thing we need to provide is the div class for elements should have a padding to 10 pixels. Okay, that would be got. Sender email. Okay, we can say here input type email as well. So type equal to email. Refresh it. Okay. We will have to provide a comma out here. It will not work. but okay, it worked. <laughs> and in the last, we need to a submit button. So we can say div id div class form elements and give us a submit button. So I'm gonna say input type would be equal to submit name would be equal to edit value would be equal to edit and give it a class of my button refresh and here you go so you have everything and one more thing we can do is divide the edit form we can give it some margin top so copy go back to call sheet out here, ID this should have a margin top to 30 pixels, 20 pixels. 
I can say 40 pixels. That would be like fine. Okay, this is what we got. Now, by default,